OK, so let's say I wanted to sketch each of these circles. Now, unless you've had quite a lot of practice with sketching circles, like drawing circles, um, a lot of them tend, up, tend out to be rubbish. Um, and from time to time, I will draw quite a rubbish looking circle as well. Because it's just a sketch, don't worry too much about this. You don't need to use uh, a pair of compasses in order to do it. Um, just so long as it looks like a circle, it's not too elliptical, it doesn't look like a square or anything like that, okay? So just, um, just be careful with it, but don't go overboard. And you kind of want to have, uh, rather than having kind of that thing where we want to go round like that, please don't do that, okay? We don't want any of that. We want to have, see a, quite a nice, Kind of circular shape in one fell swoop if we can okay right so that over let's go straight into this we've got x squared plus y squared equals 36 so it might make sense to write down the center which is going to be zero zero and the radius is going to be the square root of 36 so six so what's this going to look like well this is going to be a circle centered at the origin with radius 6. So look, my the circle there isn't too bad, but it's not perfect, but that'll do, okay? People would recognize it as a circle. So as it's got radius 6, it must be going through 6 on the x-axis, 6 on the y-axis, minus 6 on the x-axis, and minus 6 on the y-axis, okay? Centered at the origin O, okay? And that's a sketch of number 1. Okay, so number two, x squared plus y minus two squared equals four. So this would have a center of zero, two, and a radius of square root four, so two. Okay, so this is a circle centered at zero, two, okay, with radius two. So if its center is at zero, two, then its radius must hit the origin. So it must look something like this where it's just got that one point where it's hitting the x-axis at the origin. Let's make this clear that this is 0, 2, and that will be at 4. That's at 2. That's minus 2. OK? And so that is a sketch of number 2. Right, number three, x minus five squared plus y minus five squared equals 25. So this would add a center at five, five, and a radius equal to five. So, seeing as it's centered at five, five, and radius five, it must be that it is crossing through and doing something like this, okay? So, because in order to have a radius of 5, so that's 5 distant, that's 5 distant. So it'll look something like this. You know, not, that's not too bad. There's your centre. Okay, 5, 5. That top point will be 10. And that will be 5, uh, sorry, 10. Okay. And so that is a sketch of number three. Now, number four, this is a circle that will have a center at minus six, two, and a radius of root five, okay? Now, root five is two point something, okay? So be aware of what that's going to then look like. So minus 6, 2. So minus 6, 2 is going to be somewhere out here for its centre. Now, because it's got a radius of root 5, which is a little bit more than 2, that must mean that the bottom of the circle must be just under that x-axis. So it'll be something like... Something like that. So here's my centre at minus 6, 2, 
Okay, so it has this radius of root 5. Now, because it's crossing the x-axis, it makes sense that I work out where it is crossing the x-axis, what the coordinates of those points are. So just in the same way as we would sketch other curves and lines, um, in order to find out where it crosses the x-axis, we substitute in y0. So x plus 6 squared plus 0 minus 2 squared equals 5. So x plus 6 squared, uh, that's going to be 4. So plus 4 equals 5. And then take the 4 to the other side. Okay, This is much easier than multiplying out that x plus 6 bracket. So then square root both sides. So we get x plus 6 is plus or minus 1, so the square root of 1. And then subtract the 6. So plus or minus 1, take away 6. So 1 take away 6 is minus 5. Minus 1 take away 6 is minus 7. So that must be minus 7. That must be minus 5. OK? And that is what this circle will look like. Right, so finally, we have number 5. So we've got x minus 8 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 100. So this is a circle centred at 8 minus 2 with a radius of 10. OK. So 8 minus 2. So 8 minus 2. Probably going to be something like down here. Now, because the radius is 10, that must mean that we've got the end point of the circle over here, okay, at minus 2. Now, the question is, does it, where does it cross the um, x and y axis, okay? And that will give us an idea of kind of where this circle's at. It's a little bit more difficult to sketch it otherwise. Okay, so if I put in when y is 0, that means I can find out where it crosses the x-axis. So x minus 8 squared plus 0 plus 2 squared equals 100. Now 0 plus 2 squared is just 4. So, subtract the 4 from both sides, gets me 96. I now need to square root both sides. So, x minus 8 is equal to plus or minus, the square root of 96 is the square root, is 4 root 6. So that means that x is 8 plus or minus 4 root 6. Okay, so 4 root 6 is 9.8. Eight approximately. So if you do 8 take away that value, you get minus 1.79. So you're going to get something that's like this, aren't you? Well, that, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, but, um, you know, we can fudge that a little bit. Make it look a little bit more centralized. Okay, so what we've got is this end point is at minus two, but that crossing point there is eight take away four root six. That's the exact point of where it crosses the x axis there, and we've got eight plus four root six over here. Now it's going to be crossing the y axis at two different points, so we can work those out as well. So when x is zero, So we're going to get 0 take away 8 all squared, so that'd be 64. Uh, sorry, plus y plus 2 squared equals 100. So subtract the 64 from both sides, gives you 36. 
So y plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 6, because that's the square root of the 36. And then subtract the 2. So minus 2 plus or minus 6. So minus 2 plus 6 will give you 4. And minus 2 minus 6 will give you minus 8. OK? And that is a sketch of number 5, detailing precisely where the curve crosses the coordinate axes.